what would happen to our bodies if there were no bones inside it well let me tell you that immediately we would collapse into a lump of muscles not capable of exhibiting any movement or any function for that matter but thankfully we have our skeletal system in our bodies that keeps us intact and enables us to show various movements friends have you ever thought what keeps our cells intact i mean do they also have skeletal system of their own well friends until now we learned that the plasma membrane or the cell membrane helps the cell to keep intact but let me tell you that a major role is played by the cytoskeleton or simply the skeleton present inside the cell to keep it intact come in this session let us talk about the skeletal system of the cell or cytoskeleton to begin with the cytoskeleton is a network of filamentous structures which are nothing but the polymers of specific protein molecules so you can say that the cytoskeleton is the structural framework present inside a cell now friends let me tell you that the cytoskeleton is found only in case of eukaryotic cells yes all the prokaryotic cells lack the cytoskeleton in them friends the cytoskeleton is composed of three components namely the microfilaments the intermediate filaments and the microtubules and all these three components making up the cytoskeleton differ in their individual structures and properties friends the microfilaments are contractile yes they are capable of producing contractions and they are found closely associated with the protein myosin for producing these contractions the intermediate filaments on the other hand are tough rope like structures that are made up of the subunits of protein called the actin and they are capable of producing branched network as well the microtubules on the other hand are long hollow tubes which are made up of the protein called tubulin and they are also capable of producing the network inside the cell well friends these structures making up the cytoskeleton maintains the shape of the cell and its extensions they regulate the orientation and distribution of cell organelles and these structures combinedly even facilitate the intracellular transport and even the movement of the cell Now let us move forward and understand these structures making up the cytoskeleton in detail. In this session we are going to discuss microfilaments. Friends, the microfilaments are ultra microscopic, long, narrow and cylindrical rods that are simply made up of proteins. So we can also call them the protein filaments. And These protein filaments are found in all the eukaryotic cells. Yes, all the plant cells and in all the animal cells. They are made up of a globular protein called actin. Friends, a globular protein is basically a spherical shaped protein. Now, these microfilaments constitute to 10 to 15% of the total protein content of a cell. and they are about 6 to 8 nanometers in thickness the microfilaments inside a cell exhibit a periodic beaded arrangement due to the helical arrangements of its monomers the protein actin friends the microfilaments as we discussed earlier are made up of monomers of the protein actin and these monomers of the protein actin polymerize in the presence of atp to form a long helical structure and that is the reason that it appears like periodic beaded arrangement inside a cell now let me tell you that a microfilament is a double stranded structure with two helical grooves running along its length now these strands are also called f actin and actin strands friends 
As we discussed earlier, the microfilaments are associated with the contractile protein myosin. And this ability allows them to form the contractile machinery of the cell, which further aids the cell in its motility or simply movement. And having discussed entire structure and general information about the microfilaments, now is the time to look into the roles played by them. The microfilaments, due to their ability to enable movement, cause cytoplasmic streaming in the cell. And the cytoplasmic streaming is also known as cyclosis. Myofibrils, the contractile muscle fibers, are also associated with the microfilaments. So we can say that microfilaments also contribute in bringing about the contraction as they form or they are the part of the fibers myofibrils. The microvilli also have microfilaments in them. So the movement which is exhibited by the microvilli is basically microfilament mediated. Friends, the formation and retraction of pseudopodia in organisms like amoeba is also brought about by the microfilaments. The cellular processes like endocytosis and exocytosis are also mediated by the microfilaments only. Friends, can you think about the cells having maximum number of microfilaments in them? Well, those would be the cells requiring maximum movement. And here comes the perfect example. Microvilli are basically the extensions of the absorptive cells present in the gastrointestinal tract. And microvilli needs to exhibit movement as well. So, those cells making up microvilli have maximum or a huge number of microfilaments present inside them. And with this, we have come to the end of this session. In our upcoming videos, we will be discussing the remaining members of the cytoskeleton, namely the intermediate filaments and the microtubules. So on this note, let us summarize what did we learn in this session. The cytoskeleton is a network of filaments composed of polymers of specific protein molecules which form the framework of a cell. The cytoskeleton is basically the structural framework present inside the cell. The cytoskeleton occurs only in eukaryotic cells. All the prokaryotic cells do not have cytoskeleton in them. The cytoskeleton is composed of three well-defined filamentous structures, namely microtubules, microfilaments and intermediate filaments which differ from each other in their structure and properties. Microfilaments are contractile and are associated with the protein myosin for contraction. The microfilaments are ultramicroscopic, long, narrow and cylindrical rods made up of proteins. The microfilaments are made up of a globular protein called actin. The actin monomers or single units that form microfilaments polymerize in the presence of ATP and form a flexible helical filament. The microfilaments are contractile and are associated with myosin protein and this ability allows them to form the contractile machinery of the cell which aids in various movements exhibited by the cell. 